on this episode a normal Wednesday. My crazy plan! <laughs> you fools! Christian will be your freelance dance teacher. Secret desires are finally revealed. I like to move it, move it. Hmm. Hi everybody, this is Christian from LazyDevs Academy. This is the Advanced Schmap Tutorial, episode 73, I think it is. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Right, so I have my master plan. We have created the master plan. We did the playtesting. By the way, I need to turn on the Gundam. There we go, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we did the playtesting, right? We created a master plan. We are working ourselves through the list of things that we need to change today. Uh, the thing I'm gonna come, come back to is the schedule editor. Is it the schedule editor? Uh... Difficult times today. Uh, right, so load schedule. Right, so... Yeah, enemy mirroring is something that we want to do next. How are we going to do this? I've been thinking about this and um, yeah, it's difficult. Something I want to avoid is to, because this is something that's gonna be decided on the schedule level, right? Something I want to avoid is adding like a sixth entry in the schedule stuff, right? Um, I want to maybe somehow roll this information into all the already uh, existing schedule information. We have uh, four pieces at minimum, sometimes five pieces of information. We have the time, we have the enemy type, we have the position X and Y, and now recently we just added the fifth, which is optional, which is like the brain override. Adding a sixth one would make it a little bit difficult because then what if there's a no brain override but mirroring, you know, like it's like, how are we going to do that? Um, and also just, I want to just keep the amount of information for each schedule as small as possible, because there's going to be a lot of schedules. Like the, uh, I, I want to, I, ideally these would be really, really compact. Um, so I had this idea that, <sighs> get this, get this. First of all, um, technically behind the scenes, there should be just like a flag right? Like enemy should be spawned with a flag with a property on the enemy object that is mirrored, yes or no. Or probably better just have minus one and one for mirrored, right? Mirrored would be nine, minus one. That's what, what we want to end up with. Um, the way I want to encode this into the scheduling is here, here's a little trick. Here's a one trick that we had up, up our sleeve to get one bit of information in we can make some of the numbers negative. We can take some of the numbers and make them actually negative. And if, uh, for example, we say that we always have to specify an enemy type, right? So if the type is negative, we make it positive again and we flag this, that enemy as a mirrored enemy. Is, is my idea, is my thinking here, right? So let's try to do that. <laughs> oh man, oh man, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. There, there is, hmm, there's a lot of problems with that and we're gonna have to deal with those problems um, because we have to make the editor and uh, subsequently also our actual game able to handle negative enemy numbers. Um, but first of all, what we actually need to do is we want to add a menu that adds mirroring as a possibility. Uh, mirror. No, something like this. Oh, wait, 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 let's, let's go with um, mirror n. And then this is gonna be mirror, no. Something like this, right? Now this is gonna be 18. This is gonna be, I'm cheating, I'm, I'm looking in the next one up already. <laughs> Uh, and this is gonna be 30. Okay, let's just let's just see how that looks. Let's just see how that looks. Mm. First of all, it's in the right in the wrong position. It should be higher up. Um, so let's let's maybe do that first. 12, 18. Uh, something is wrong. Yeah, this is this is the wrong. 
uh, yeah, this looks a lot better, but now I don't like the number of characters that we're using for this. Mm, let's maybe call it FLP. No. Oh, no, no, wait. I'm always changing the wrong thing. Uh, FLP, <laughs> FLP, no. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. So we can flip it. <laughs> we just, we're gonna, gonna call it internally mirror, but in the UI we can call it flip it. I, I guess I could also call it M-E-I-R. Can, can, what, what, how does it look like if I make, make it mirror? Let's call it, let's call it mirror. Right, so right now it's no, and I, when I select this, I want it to flip it. You know what, we're gonna make it happen and then we're gonna see what breaks and we're gonna fix all of the things that break you know one by one ah. okay let's just do button do button and then we're gonna go else if b.cmd equals mirren then okay so if that happens uh let's first grab the schedule And then we're going to say sked square brackets two equals minus sked square brackets two. That's all we're going to do. And it, and it completely will blow up everything. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> and I always pressing the wrong button, right? Checking if the. Okay. So. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Boom! Yeah, immediately generating the enemies is impossible because what it does here, it gets the enemy type uh, and then things get really weird. So we're gonna go absolute on the enemy type here, right here. And that should, that might, might cover it already. You can see uh, in the menu it switches. It sw switches to negative. So this worked. Uh, let's call. Um, let's go. Let's create a variable that is kind of basically a mirror equals um, sgn the sign of schedule two. Right. So this is like if this is mirrored, and we're going to use that later on. <laughs> we're not going to touch it for now. We're going to use that later on. Uh, now let me here when we drawing. When we're drawing stuff, or when we're drawing, uh, when we're creating the UI, uh, drop, there we go. Uh, when I create this, so here's where we're getting the my n, right? Um, and here's we're go also going, we're going to go absolute on the on that boy, bad boy. Just going absolute. All right. So this should make it so that we no longer see the minus one when we when we click on on mirror. We absolutely do see the minus one. We go on mirror. What the heck? <laughs> Why? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Uh, we need to go also here. Absolute sales get two. <laughs> uh, but also while we're here already, how about uh, here we we change the text. So mirror uh, dot dot. Okay. Uh, local mirror equals mer t, let mer text equals um, cells cat two is smaller than zero and yes on <laughs> or no. <laughs> on and no that's not good oh that's cursed that's so cursed uh, and then we're gonna go to that merty let's, let's see if that works oh yeah oof oof yikes okay uh we, we're not doing that how many how many how many how many hmm. normal let's try let's see let's see if that that works wait wait we're just we're just gonna draw it we're just gonna draw it immediately it's, it's just like this yeah 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 that's that's good. Oh yeah, normal mirror. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> it's a little bit hidden info because like if you see normal it's like okay what else could it be then you have to click to understand but it's fine it's fine it doesn't have to be that that he was a friend okay uh, and uh, the only thing that's left to do for us to do is like when something is mirrored we want to have the ability to actually control which enemy type it is and right now it, it will you will see and let me let me show you real quick what happens so let's see i have one thing here right and i want to change the enemy type uh but it's switched to wait let, let me switch it to mirrored oh and already already we're getting we're getting bad stuff bad, bad vibes yeah and then bad vibes are uh, coming up in um in update function update 60. so it's here an update function when we're updating the drop down menu this stuff breaks um editing the type and the brain kind of breaks when there's a negative type happening so we need to we need to intervene here uh yeah this stuff breaks so first of all let me let me find out if we have a mirror sgn the sign of sket2 we we extracting the sign and we're saying sket2 for a second we're going to say sket2 equals absolute sket Right? For a second there. For a second there. We're gonna revert this to normal. We're gonna run everything by it. And then afterwards, we're gonna go with sket2 uh, equals sket2. I'm getting informations. Uh, multiplied by mirror. And we need to do the same thing on this bad boy out oh, down here. I, I edited it out. I copied it. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do this immediately down here. Uh, and then we're going to do this immediately down here. And then we're going to revert all the way at the end. A little bit of code, but but it, this should fix that problem. So let me see. Uh, so let me go mirror. And I can change this. I can change, I can change, and things are sweet. It, it stays mirrored, and I can flip this around to uh, to normal. It works. Good. Oh, there's still one thing that is missing, and oh, we're gonna do that real quick. Um, that works for using the cursor keys. It doesn't work for uh, uh, using the mouse to do that. So let's do that real quick. So here is changing the type. Uh, and we're going to do the same process as before. We basically um, save, remember, if that, that enemy is mirrored, if that enemy had a negative type. Uh, we revert to a positive type for a second. We do all the processing. And then we revert back again. And I know this is a little bit of a cheat, but um, it doesn't matter. It's just the editor, right? Right? And then here, um, when we're editing the brain, we do the same thing. Immediately after the sked, we do this. And then at the end, we revert. So now using the mouse should also, so now I mirror it. I can change the brain. It's all good. I can change the enemy type. Cool, 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 cool. And I revert it to normal. Isn't that neat? And it's already being saved, I think, in the editor. So if I run this again, Let's set it to mirror. Uh, let's export this and let's run this again. It's now saved as mirrored. So it's already being saved into the file. Okay, so now I want to create a new enemy that is basically where we can test the new mirror capabilities. So I'm going to create a new enemy here. I'm going to move it. I like to move it, move it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to position them and I'm gonna I'm gonna do like this curve right you can see that the curve is going left I set the enemy now to mirror and now in the editor what I want to do I want is I want the curve to be going in the other direction already in the editor and then later on we're gonna jump to the game and want to replicate that old um, stuff in the game as well so already in the editor I want the enemy to be going um, to be basically going in the other direction right because he's mirrored all right, let's export this. By the way, something I, we also forgot, very important. 
uh, when we're doing the mirrored and mirror um, dirty equals true. Important to remember. Cool. Right. Um, so when we gen ends here, we're going to take this mirror and we're basically going to multiply the x position of the, the trails that we have with this mirror because it's either positive or negative. And that is basically going to be it, my dudes. That is going to be it. Now, hear me out. The preview, yeah, the preview doesn't look good. The preview is bad, but the, the actual enemy is moving in the right direction. It is, it is where we want it to be. We want it to go to the right, all right? Just to preview the little dots here, those are being drawn wrong. So we need to fix, fix those in a second here. Hey, where is it? Draw trail, here we go. Yeah, we're saving something inside the enemy, right? So there's like the enemy. Let's save the mirror here. Mirror equals, I don't like when that it, it, this comes out like this, but whatever. I'm gonna save that mirror here. And then when we're drawing the stuff, uh, we can go multiply with mirror. And we can do that. We can just flip left and right very easily because mirror, the mirror property is either one or minus one. And so we can just multiply with this property and that just flips, like when you multiply X with that property, it just flips the entire trail to the other side. That's really nice. And by the way, we don't actually need to even put this into brackets. Uh, because order of operations. Okay, uh, n dot mirror. There we go. Now I don't see the trails. I don't see the trails. Right, uh, because we're not supposed to multiply the position of the enemy, but we're actually supposed to multiply the the trail data. Yeah, there we go. That's the trail data. <laughs> my crazy plan my crazy plan <laughs> you fools you doubted me but i got through <laughs> okay yeah so now we're encoding basically uh with a minus sign we can just encode whether uh, 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 enemy is flipped or not isn't that just nice all right now we need to figure out how to make this stuff work inside the game. By the way, I'm just gonna do an X in here. We just we just figure this out. Let's move on to the actual game. This to do list. Let's let's remove this. Uh, better on screen function. We did that. Anilip and draw. Up. Yeah. Freeze die in this overhaul. Yeah 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 yeah. Mm, let me put this on the list. I'm gonna put this on a to do list. I'm gonna put this in their master plan. So maybe uh, that's, that comes later on. El Mera. Okay, so I think right now if we run this, we're gonna get a... And that is because we're trying to spawn an enemy of a negative number and that breaks everything. Uh, no, no worries, no worries. Do not be afraid. Um, let's go spawn N. There we go. Uh, so here's where we're spawning things. Now, ni might be negative, so we're just gonna go abs ni. Uh, and then we're gonna go, uh, do we need a mirror here? Uh, probably we don't need it. We're just gonna go ni mirror equals uh, sgn ni. Let's, let's run this. There is the snake, but the snake comes out in the wrong direction. And now our goal is to make it so that this property M, this, this property mirror, it gets also applied to the way the brain gets executed. Uh, uh, this is actually this is actually a little bit tough. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do this best. Let's see, let's see. It's it's probably going to be here and do no do enemies. It's going to be here and do enemies. There's different ways of we can we can we can do this. We can do this maybe on a on a movement level, right? We can just like say whenever you move in one direction, you just multiply the, the movement speed, right? You could do that. Because like here at the end of the day, we're just multiplying sx and 
we're adding SS and SY, we could just multiply this on, 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 on MIR. But as the problem is that we'll actually, because we do, are do, doing calculations with distance and so forth, and, and that and at the end of the day, that will basically just mess around. Yeah, it will just make because we have like some targets that maybe that where the the uh, enemy is supposed to go towards the target, but if it's going in the wrong direction, then it will never actually meet the target, and that will mess around with the, especially when we are talking about the angles. Um, so maybe this is um, due for an overhaul anyway. Probably, I mean, follow is doesn't matter, but. Maybe you know what? Maybe what if what if we make it on this level where we, okay, here's where we're changing the heading and and basically here what I want to do is multiply times with e dot mirror. I think it's double error, right? So here's where we're changing. No, not the speed, the angle. This is where we multiply, multiply by my mirror. We just go make it go in the other direction. That's that. We actually just want to modify the angles, right? Here's where we're waiting, that doesn't matter. Here's when we're animating the speed, doesn't matter. Here's where we're making, animating direction. And again, um, the speed doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Let's, let's multiply both with, with e -mer. Um The go-to doesn't matter. Loop doesn't matter. Firing. Um, yeah, it, this, this ma does matter. Um, we want to maybe also um, mirror like mirror the shooting patterns, right? Uh, because we're always saying shoot this in this specific direction, right? Um, because um, sometimes we're saying like minus ninety nine for shooting at the player, and that's if we mirror that, we're gonna shoot in direction ninety nine, and that's not not gonna be good. So maybe you know, well, let's do this right away. Follow is not supposed to be mirrored, so that's okay. Uh, clone is also good. Uh, what about pet? Shoot. Let, let's let's look. So angle is the second entry there. Okay. So how about when we do the brain and we're shooting, we uh, angle is the second entry set, right? So we're gonna multiply with a with a um, with a mirroring, and then if we go to the pad shoot. Uh, ABS pang equals 99, like this. Okay, let's run this. Um, all right, so before we finish up this episode, it's gonna be a shorter episode, but uh, before we finish this up, I wanted to do like a main to-do here. So we're gonna uh, set up ourselves some uh, goals for the next time. Uh, what I want to do the next is, I want to do like this enemy go-to thing, where we have an ability to make the enemy go to a certain locations. I think that's kind of important for, um, um, for, um, uh, for boss fights, maybe, uh, and, and do enemy overhaul while we add it. We, we're gonna look at, at at things a little bit. Uh, definitely making enemies go to a certain locations, uh, and then we're gonna think about the ground enemies. How we're gonna make ground enemies work, and that will basically solve all of our scheduled brain stuff. And then we can move on to expanding the pattern stuff and so forth. But for now, I'm going to move on to the uh, part at the end of each episode where I say thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me on coffee.com. To all the beautiful people who are supporting me on coffee.com, thank you so much for your support. And I will also read out a, a, a comment. This one is from Louis. Uh, he talks about the schedule editor on episode 67. It's so cool to see um, the trails for the schedule editor. It's funny to see how our brains were basically aligned up to that point and I just moved the trails a step further and put them into the actual game itself. My logic was good for tokens is more important than good for compression. Uh, amazing! I, that's kind of like... 
it's it's amazing that we're synced up there. That like the trails idea was kind of something that we both came up with, and it's kind of amazing that that um, I didn't know that that Louis Louis's enemies are basically trails all the way through. So there is, I am assuming there is some kind of like editor to make the enemies move, and that exports like a trail, and that will builds like the structure for the games. I, yeah, that's probably super tro- token efficient, right? You just like read a bunch of numbers from the file and just like dump them. Uh, into the enemies, uh, but I'm assuming also that makes it a bit difficult to make dynamic enemies, or I think enemies that have like very long patterns. I don't know how that works. Oh, how does that work when a boss is looping? Do you have like some kind of like marker to say like now just repeat the the, the trail? How does that work? That's super fascinating. I, I love that that different kind of solution, and it shows it as this trail system. You can and there's you know there's not. A universal solution for enemy movement. You can solve them in many different ways, and maybe, maybe the way I do it is actually not really good. Maybe those tokens uh, we're gonna miss them at the end. We're gonna see how this plays out. All right, guys. So next time we're gonna do um, boss movements, and we're gonna do a grand enemies. See you next time around, guys. Bye bye.